question is, we have burn issues and my wheel supplier suggested a high porosity wheel to reduce temperatures. Is this the way to go? A high porosity wheel might help you reduce temperatures depending on what type of grinding you're doing. If you're doing creep feed grinding, the coolant might absorb say 50, 60, 70 percent of the heat. So if we have a high porosity wheel, we have more coolant getting in there, so we have potential to remove even more heat. If we're doing surface grinding, shallow cut grinding, cylindrical OD grinding, the coolant can only absorb, say, 5% of the heat. So if we have a high porosity wheel and more coolant going through, well, maybe that 5% jumps to 7%. Really not a big improvement. Has to do with the length of the arc of cut. Creep feed grinding has a long arc length, so we have a lot of area for convection to the coolant. Shallow cut grinding has a short arc length, so there's not much potential to remove heat through the coolant. So to answer your question, if you're doing creep feed grinding, yeah, you might see a benefit if you switch to a high porosity wheel. If you're doing surface grinding, shallow cut grinding, OD grinding, you're probably not going to see much of a benefit in a high porosity wheel. And even if you're doing creep feed grinding, make sure your coolant's good to begin with so you have a coolant velocity to match your wheel velocity. That's the first priority. Second priority then would be to switch to a high porosity wheel. So to summarize, if you got a long arc length, high porosity might help you. If you got a short arc length, it's probably not going to help you.